Hey, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot on a quick read for you. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a gentle spread at the end. We're going to do the all signs with the uh, Rated Wise Tarot deck. And um, I am excited. I did a pre-shuffle um, with the Runic Tarot. And I'll show you the decks I use in case you want to purchase one for yourself or for somebody else as a gift. Um, so with Runic Tarot, I did a, a pre-shuffle just to get an idea of what was going on in your lives. Aries, for a great many of you, Maybe not all, but a great many of you. There's somebody that you have dealt with that is very materialistic. That money is their main, like that's what they, they care about more than anything else. Um, they are going to try to use sex to come back into your life. <laughs> They're going to try to sex their way back into your heart. Um, only to leave again and then try to resurrect things again. So it's like, I, tell, I always get this feeling of like, you go in cycle circles, or well, cycles. Maybe there's a cycle of circles with this person, but um, you know, they come in, they rush in, they get you all stirred up, make promises, and you know, love on you, and then they disappear. Then they go away again. You don't hear from them, and then they try to resurrect. When they think things are dead and gone, they try to resurrect it again. Because look at this. Um, you, I, I, oh, and on the bottom of the deck, um, a lot of you all are focused on making money, right? But who is it, right? A lot of people are, but. Um, when I first started out, I got the uh, the Ace of Shields, which is like the uh, Ace of Pentacles. That's, you know, making money. But look, um, here they are bringing that. And it's, you know, some kind of soulmate-y type thing. But, I mean, there's we could argue the whole soulmate, what that is. But but here's the thing. They're going to bring that. And then, then they're going to try to go away and disappear. <laughs> and then when things, when they think things have, are almost dead and you're almost slipped out of their, you know, out of their grip then they want to try and resurrect things again and this is definitely somebody who they love money they love stuff they like the finer things in life um, they may like to show off what they have so I'm just gonna give you that warning all right so that was so let's do your money uh, and I'm gonna use the uh, gilded tarot for that but um, the signs that came out um, heavy Taurus could be sun moon rising or venus and taurus because king of pentacles is a, a taurus card the the ace of pentacles is all on um, taurus virgo and capricorn that was what i saw before i started to shuffle and then um all the fire signs aries leo sag um the lovers is gemini and you get um the six of swords is aquarius the four swords um is libra and then the judgment card that's that has to do with um Pluto, which modern day Scorpio, so uh, could be Scorpio. Although I get, I get a little bit of Aries feel from that too. Um, but yeah, so those are the signs that could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or they could just come off as those signs because they have a high concentration of something in a certain house. I don't know. All right, so let's use the gilded tarot to do your money, and um, I gotta finish my coffee. Sorry, I love coffee. All right, so. Um, so let's see. Uh, four swords again. That's Libra energy on the bottom. Um, so I don't know if you're trying to take a break from spending, trying to take a break from investing or making money or whatever. Something to do with money. There's like a break and there's healing and, you know, you're, I don't know. You're just trying to not do a whole lot. But look at this. Look at this. Now, granted, it's cups, not pentacles, but still. In the first card in your money read, ten of cups. That's like happily ever after. So that's, I love that. There's the judgment card again. So Scorpio energy, um, resurrecting things from the past, making decisions, announcements. I mean, you'll know. If the, if, by the way, if this resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. Um, if it doesn't resonate, you might want to check out one of the other signs. Um, so I mean, rising or Venus. Anyway, so Knight of Swords. So somebody, um, someone's going to bring you news about something financial, and it could have been a direction that you've had to go in. You know, you're like you having to make a decision on what you're going to do financially. Um, but wow, look at this, Aries! I freaking love this. The Sun card. Ooh. That's, I mean, that's happiness, that's growth, expansion. That is awesome. Um, but this could be either you keeping your moves hidden, not letting people know what you're up to, or you could be dealing with some shady characters that are trying to take advantage of you financially. 
And it could just be a boss who tries to short you on your paycheck. It could be um, somebody who in some way, shape, or form tries to pull one over on you. Seven of swords. So either someone's trying to take advantage of you or you're just not letting people know what you're up to. You're keeping your moves hidden. So you'll know, you know, if, if you're not trying to keep your moves hidden, then you'll, there he is again. That's baby. And he literally is like cling wrap. Like whenever, whenever he hears me talking to the camera, he has got to sit right behind me, like right there. <laughs> cling wrap. All right. So let's do your career with the uh, witch's tarot. So this deck, all right, so two, oh, ten, ooh, oh, I like this. Okay, so maybe the reason why your money read is so good is because you're doing really well on your job. Hmm. All right, let's see, though. Let's see what's going on. Just got to be right there. <laughs> Right there. Um, so that's some indecision. Oh, and you got the two of wands, so there's choices. So two of swords in the career reading, um, the five of wands, Ooh, competition, okay. The star, so you're actually glowing, gl or you know, you're having a glow, like you're getting, it's not the six of wands, I know, but it's, you're getting recognition, you're getting a glow up, you're, um, you're being seen like uh, by a lot of people as doing really well. Like you, it's like you got your come up and sir. I don't know how to put that, but you know what I mean. Seven of Pentacles. Um, you're trying to decide what you you know what you've gotten out of something, whether it's worth it. But look at this, four of wands, and then, yep, you're getting recognition. Look at this. So on the job, you're getting, and you could be getting financially compensated because we had the Ten of Pentacles um, before I even started, right? So. Oh, I like this Aries. Oh, I like this. Dude, what? Are you doing the reading? Are you doing the reading? Are you, you going to hear? I'm going to hold the cards. All right. So, <laughs> I like this. You're looking things over and you're, you're doing whatever you have to do. Assessing things, looking at the growth, and making sure that you, whatever you do is leading to stability. And I freaking love that, Aries. I love that for you. All right. So, get off me, dude my chair not your chair hairball let's do your love portion let's do your love i swear to god what is what is the deal i accidentally elbowed him in the schnocker or the snoop sorry dude all right so we're going to use the wandering star tarot to do your love portion i'm sorry bud mommy sorry Oof. okay so remember when i said in the beginning, somebody will, will try to come around when they think things are done and finished, right before you slip out of their reach or their grasp. Love portion. This is what's on the bottom of the deck before we start. So when things are just done, when somebody can, they can sense that when, when things are almost finished. They don't want to let things die. They just want to like try to keep you I don't know if they want to keep you on hold. I, if we if we come up with the three of wands, I will know. I'll know. All right, let's see though. Okay, so you have Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon. Notice all the major arcana in your love portion. I'm just I'm just saying. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords. But the sun, I like, so what, okay, before, first of all, if things are quiet, and there's some kind of karmic, you know what, my attention is being focused on the snake, and not in a good way. So, if things are quiet, and you could be dealing with somebody with something rising or Venus in Virgo, um, or Sagittarius, because... I feel like there's some kind of karmic cycle that's happening. And here's Pisces energy with the moon. But I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who has secrets or they're secretive, they're quiet, they're, they have a lot of fears. Um, they may feel like you can have it all together. The two of you can have it all together. And once again, remember I said something about the, they like money? Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles are money, right? 
but they're indecisive and they like to keep you in the dark. Because the moon with the two of swords, that's that tells me that somebody somebody likes to keep you in the dark. This cat is driving me crazy. <laughs> so the sun is on the bottom of the deck. That's happiness and expansion. So what's going on? What's with your love life? So what is the sun? Because, I mean, look at this. So what is the sun? Ace of Pentacles. Um, well, that's, you know, once again, you making money. So are you getting a new start with somebody who has very earthy energy and they're very stable? Is it a new start with somebody stable? King of Swords. Um, that's Aquarius energy. But it's somebody that's honest. Someone who's honest. Honest. But impulsive. Well, that may not be a terrible thing. Or, okay, so if you're getting a new start with somebody, what are their intentions? What are their intentions? I'm sorry, Aries. I don't know if it's a new person or an old person because look, King of Wands, yeah, that's that's their intentions. So yeah, they're they're here for the uh good time. I know it's not the Knight of Wands, but and it could be somebody who likes to, to be in charge and steer things. Like they like to have control over situations and the direction that things go. They like to be the one in control. Um, like the one pulling the, the strings, holding the reins. Is Here is the chariot card, giving me more information about the person. All right, so, well, there's that. What is your advice? What is the advice? Um, so if it's a person from the past, let that tower fall because it's a disaster, they're a disaster. If it's somebody new and you get the like that that red flag <laughs> or that gut feeling like, pay attention to your gut. If you get a gut feeling like something is just off with this person, any kind of warnings in your gut, let that tower fall because they're a disaster. All right, so let's do your general. Oh, I didn't do the general. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I confuse myself because I did a pre-shuffle. So I see four decks here and I'm like, oh, I already did, but no. So this is your general spread with the Cosmo Tarot. It's a fun deck. It's a fluff deck. Um, Eight of Swords. So are you stressing out over something? What are you stressing out over? If you are, what is going on? And what, let's see, uh, Two of Swords came up twice. That's Libra energy. Didn't I see... Well, Ten of Pentacles, that's Virgo energy. That's a, like having it all, living the good life. Uh, judgment, Scorpio. Resurrecting something. Alright. Alright, so something about the past that gave you trust issues made you feel stuck growing in different directions oh my god wheel of fortune again that's sagittarius energy and that's all about cycles and karma um but look at this okay so somebody from the past because this is a person this is a love interest from the past um that gave you trust issues and made you you know feel like you've been through a war with them um made made you feel stuck, made things feel like they're just stuck and you couldn't make a move. Um, and you ended up growing in different directions. And this is who they are, the Knight of Wands, the player. It doesn't matter their gender, the player. So this is a karmic cycle that you found yourself stuck in. So if you have a hard time letting go of someone, it could be because there's a trauma bond. So what is your advice on that? And I feel like I already, well, we already got the tower, right? Any other advice on it? So Queen of Cups, 
before I, this is a pretty quick queen of cups, but before I, because usually this is like offering love and it's not the queen looking at the cup because when the queen is looking at the cup, it's focusing on self-love, um, you know, healing and growing. Yeah, see, there it is. So that would be it. Eight of Cups is like walking away. So it's telling you to walk away from anything that's karmic. All right, so let's do the all signs with the Radiant Wise deck. And if this is, if this rings a bell, if it resonates, if it, you know, helps in any way, let me know. Here, you are being guided to have firm boundaries with people. Don't tolerate any crap. Be very clear in your intentions what you will and won't tolerate. Because look at this. Look at this. An indecisive player just keeps wanting to be seen. Keeps wanting to be seen. Mm. Indecisive player. People that are indecisive just need to piss off. All right, so... If you're dealing with an Aries, they have an apology. So if you're dealing with a fellow Aries, they have an apology and they want to grow with you. They may want to have children with you. Uh, Taurus is going to reach out. They want things to be fair. Um, Gemini is kind of bitchy, but they're also, they got a lot of passion for you. Cancer is being quiet right now and stubborn. They're holding back. Um, they might be trying to be stingy too. Uh, the Leo is a disaster that's defensive. The Virgo is stressed out. Um, in analysis paralysis and feeling heartbroken the libra is focused on making money and getting laid <laughs> the scorpio is losing sleep over this they feel like your soulmates the sagittarius is focused on self-love and healing they're they're indecisive they don't know what to they, they can't decide what their emotions are clouding their judgment capricorn is a player who's going to offer you love so here's the thing the capricorn they're, they, they give off young energy, not super immature, but they're, they're young, lighthearted, but um, they really do love you. It is real, like it's a, a real offer, but, but they're still a player. But I, I don't know what their intentions are. Um, Aquarius is scared. They feel like, um, I don't know what they feel like. Hold on. Because they feel like that you two could have a happily ever after. Um, they may want to, so if you're not together with the Aquarius, um, they want to reunite. We'll get back together. They're going down memory lane. Pisces wants to make things right and commit to you. Um, and I don't know who this person is that you're dealing with that has lots of options, but they're not very realistic in love. Because look at this. They don't see things clearly. All right, Aries. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.